It's a BMW 5 Series car, and now we've upgraded it to a more functional Linux slim screen. Pry at the air conditioning trim panel with the rocker. Take out the connecting plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel, and then place the air conditioning trim panel to one side. Remove the fixing screws of the main unit panel. Remove the fixing screws of the original display screen. Remove the main frame panel by prying it open with a buckboard. Remove the connection plug from the back of the main frame panel and place the original main frame panel. Remove the fixing screws of the original house. Press the LVDS plug button on the back of the original display screen. Then take out the LVDS cable plug and then place the original display screen. Pull the original host downward. Take out the original host. Then hold the ESA plug buckle of the main engine and pull it backward to take out the ESA plug of the hose. Press the small buckle on the original ESA while head with tweezers and take out the 2P green optical fiber cable. Connect the 2P green fiber optic cable to the Linux ESO female and insert it firmly. Be careful not to insert it in the wrong direction. Connect the ESO plug of the original host to the main of Linux ESO harness. Connect the Linux ESO cable female to the back of the original host. Insert the plug and press the buckle to make it firmly installed. Put the Linux ESO harness inside the instrument panel and thread the plug end to the base of the display screen. Install the original host back to its original position, confirm that it is installed in place, and then lock and fix the original host. Restore the connection plug on the back of the host panel, and then install it back in place.
Thread the USB harness plug to the base of the display and lay the female end of the USB connection cable into the passenger compartment. Attach the base and lock the screws. Connect the plug of the Linux ESA harness and USB harness to the back of the Linux device. And connect the stock LVDS male connector to the back connector of the Linux device via the LVDS extension cable. Install the Linux device to the stock display base. Restore the connection plug on the back of the air conditioning trim panel, and then install the back to its original position. Ignition start the car powered on to check whether the Linux device can be turned on normally. Check whether the functions are normal. 